Since the details of the module are in the description, let's just jump right into some of the sounds. So first we'll turn up the fold a bit. There's two kinds of fold. sine wave going in. The other kind of fold is called a, called a hard fold. So let's uh, let's give a listen to that one. Go back to the other one. So we can mix in one of two inputs on the module itself. One is either the main input here, which is coming from another PMF VCO. The other is that since the module contains a ring modulator, you can also mix in input from the ring modulator. And that mix is actually a mix. So using this knob here, we can either mix in what we call the Z input or the ring mod. I have two other signs going into the ring mod as well. So we can hear that come in. So that's full ring mod. Let's try it with the hard. I think we should call that crunchy instead of hard. Be able to add in a little bit of dirt. And of course, since it's a ring mod, we can play around a bit with those other two VCOs. They are giving me my input sine waves, or we can use other waveforms. Now I also have the ring mod running into another channel on, on my mixer. We want to listen to just the ring mod. Or we can leave that running in the back and mix in a little more of the fold. So it's actually quite a powerful little module. We have our folder with two kinds of fold. We have our ability to mix in the ring mod as a source for the fold as well. And we also have a CV for input on the modulation. On the fold amount. Which is what you see there, it's just a straight sine wave. You can hear that on the hard too. We can 
crank up the speed on that LFO too and get odd things going on. Including in the audio rates. So there's a surprising amount of, of different timbres. From one little module. 